Lewis built a Colorado 4x4 van. Um, today would have been the day I'd be leaving for CamperCon too. Um, but unfortunately the workload was too heavy. I'm not going to be able to get that time off. So the three days that we spent in Monterey, it looks like it's going to be the last of my vacation. Probably for the year, till Christmas time anyway. But this Friday night, I um, was home and saw Explorer Steve's video there. And kudos to you for going. I wish I was going to be there. Um, he's headed up there and it just got me frustrated. So I decided to come out to van headquarters and do some work. Um, I can't get away. So I figure I might as well come out here and do something useful. Um, then I got to thinking, yeah, I haven't really done a tour of fan headquarters and Steve asked me what this place was. So I figure I'll, I'll kind of give you a little tour of it before I uh, get into some cleaning out here and then I'm gonna do some organizing of the, uh, all the miscellaneous little parts that are laying inside my project trailer there. So anyway, this is Van HQ. Um, it's a third. It's a pole barn, 30 deep, 40 wide. Has the one uh, 10 by 10 garage door there, man door over there, and then has these uh, fiberglass panels that let light in during the day. And if you remember from my early earlier videos, like my very first video. I had the van stored here for the first almost three years while I didn't really work on it much and it just kind of sat in here. And the parts van was sitting over here where I have the mezzanine deck now. And then the tractor and all that stuff was over there. ATVs and all that kind of stuff. Um, this was built by my in-laws back in the 90s. Um, they have uh, almost 30 acres of land here. It's, it was on the far west side of town, although you can tell from the more current videos, we're getting surrounded. Um, and nobody wanted this land out here. There's no water tap here. There's no electricity here. There's no, uh, there are no uh, services of any kind. Now it's getting closer. 100 feet behind this wall, there are houses now. And the section over that direction has now been bought. So there'll be houses over there in the next year. But the only electricity I have here is my solar system and my generator. That's the only power there is. The only water that's here for the gardens and washing and the animals is tanked out in a pickup by me or my father-in-law. So it's kind of primitive. But uh, we've done some, uh, some improvements over the last few years to make it a little better and uh, to let you know I always look for uh, reusable things and um, a lot of the stuff here is reused or I came across it free we have um, some rental properties and it's amazing what tenants will leave when they're in a hurry it's, it kills it. like for instance this fridge is almost new really good condition It's black. A tenant left it there. They didn't tell us they got it. They just left it there. And it didn't match any of the other appliances, so the boss wanted it out. So I took it out and I brought it here. Um, another example is the pot machine there. It works. The mechanisms for the pop delivery are broken, but all the cooling mechanisms and everything else works and it matches the one I have at home, at home in my shop. So I, a tenant left that in the living room of one of our rentals. So I got that for nothing. Ditto this island cabinet here. A tenant left it in the middle of one of our kitchens. We didn't want it there. And uh, so I took that. All these things just happen to work out. It's good for me. Um, then I get other good deals, like a buddy of mine uh, lived out in the country and he moved into town, didn't have a shop anymore, and he was going to scrap this. And he just built it like three or four years ago. And it's a double 55 gallon drum wood stove. 
uh, you buy a kit to make it and then you do all this uh, welding work yourself. He did a real nice job and he was going to scrap it so I told him I'd take it and uh, toss me a case of beer. Now I have wood stove and I've got enough pipe there to get out the roof. I just need to buy the, uh, the roof stack part. So anyway, that'll make this winter working on the trailer and the van a lot warmer in here. Because the only insulation there is is this really thin uh, insulation. Uh, same stuff that Explorer Steve used for his windows on his van. That's all the insulation there is. But uh, that should get it warm in here in quite a bit of hurry. And there's little things my tenants leave, like posters that I thought looked neat, even though I have no idea what it's for. Well, this is an aerial view of what I work in. When I need to work on something, I can pull the van out. Um, it's a little crowded in here right now with the project trailer and the van pod in here. And the tractor with the brush hog mower and the Odyssey. <laughs> Just have a lot of stuff in here now. It's amazing when you have a shop, it's never big enough. But the hole underneath is full of uh, little things. I got the ATVs over there. A lot of this stuff is going to be scrapped. We got some metal uh, benches and stuff that we're, I'm not going to save. Pressure washer, cat bathrooms under the stairs, guard cat right here that won't leave me be. But that's a quick tour. Got some shelves. These cabinets here were another recycle item. My in-laws redid their kitchen about seven years ago. Got all new cabinets and they were going to throw these away. I'm like, well, I'll take them out and install them at the land. And so I did and we got one up there. These here. These here. Some more over there. So I just try to reuse everything that I can. Wherever I can. Today's big job is going to be going through all of this, all these little parts and pieces, take them out of here and uh, set them up there kind of organized and then clean this place up a little bit and uh, we'll see what we come up with in here. There's probably all kinds of little odds and ends in here that I don't even know about. But as you can see my little Honda generator runs not only all these shop lights inside and out but I got these four lights in the trailer here on they're all LEDs so they're not they don't draw a lot but just that little generator will do all that plus charge my hand tool batteries and I can basically work here off a little thousand watt generator so pretty cool anyway that's what I'm doing on this fine weekend I hope you're all having a good one and we'll see you next time all right, got a general clean done. As much as a broom can get anyway. Get a shot back out here in the future. Get a better clean up on it, but. Floor solid. There's a general idea of the layout. I don't even have basic tools here. I just came out in the Audi. So my wife's using the uh, Tundra to go take some stuff down to uh, our son in Golden. So I don't even have a screwdriver. I wanted to take these couple screws out, take this out, but I don't even have those basic tools here. So and I've got basic tools in the van at the back, but the keys to that are in the pickup. So. I'll leave it, save it for next time. Here's general look at it cleaned up. Um, eventually, I guess I'll start taking things out. Got to take the sink out, cooktop out. I already took the drawers out. Take that old furnace out. I cleaned out the closet. Looks like there used to be a shelf there, maybe. No, no, you don't want to be in there. Got all the windows open, except for that bottom one that's broken. It opens, but I didn't want to mess with it right now. But yeah, all the other ones are open. The back one's stored away. 
There's some clues that were here. There's notches here. And a couple of full length hinges were also here. So there's probably some storage underneath the bed area. And maybe even something that converted to a couch. I don't know. At any rate, I don't know what the layout's going to be. But I definitely want to um, get a little more storage in here. But I don't want it to be too uh, claustrophobic. So we'll see. And in place of this furnace here, I'm going to put the bigger version of my uh, fireplace furnace. Uh, the P12000. I'm going to put that in here. And when it's all insulated, and there'll be curtains on the windows and stuff, this should stay a lot warmer than the van does. I mean, it's, it's got the air gap insulation in there, and it's a lot less glass than the van has. And when you put some curtains on those, It'll be pretty well insulated in here for that. That should be just fine for this size space. And uh, we'll build a bed platform with some storage under it. After the skin and everything's replaced. After I fix all that. I'll have to build a, a folding table. And uh, make some repairs to these two booth seats. But... Uh, this side, I think I'll, I'll keep all this. I mean, I really like the rounded woodwork here, both upper and lower. I really like that. I have to refinish it some of it, but uh, and I'm not going to paint it. I think I'm going to try and keep the uh, replace the birch and uh, keep the stain look. So um, you have to reverse build these. You take the roof skin off first, then the outer plywood, then the framing, then the inner plywood off. And then you put it back together, replace that in the reverse order. First this plywood goes on, then the framing, then the outer plywood, then the outer skin. See, it's kind of weird for modern construction, the order of things, but that's how it's done. So, the walls are good. They'll need some refinishing, but the walls are fine. It's going to be the... Uh, Every piece from this end all the way up to the back will have to be redone. And uh, obviously some of the structural supports back there are going to have to be rebuilt. And I'm thinking about trying to frame in something more sturdy in the middle so you can hang a spare tire back there. But we'll think about that as we go. Anyway, that's the update. Till next time. Yeah.